A Kayong Burmese, Ta, is a monastery vihara, comprising the domestic quarters and workplaces of Buddhist monks. Burmese Kayongs are sometimes also occupied by novice monks Samanera, lay attendants Kapia, nuns, and young acolytes observing the five precepts, Fothudao. Kayongs are typically built of wood, meaning that few historical monasteries built before the 1800s are extant. Kayongs exist in Myanmar, Burma, as well as in neighboring countries with Theravada Buddhist communities, including neighboring China, e.g., Dahong Dai and Jingpo Autonomous Prefecture. The Kayong has traditionally been the center of village life in Burma, serving as both the educational institution for children and a community center, especially for merit-making activities such as construction of buildings, offering of food to monks and celebration of Buddhist festivals, and observance of Uposatha. Monasteries are not established by members of the Sangha, but by laypersons who donate land or money to support the establishment. Topic: Usage and etymology. The modern Burmese language term Kayong descends from the old Burmese word Klon. The strong connection between religion and schooling is reflected by fact that the Kayong is the same word now used to refer to secular schools. Kayong is also used to describe Christian churches, Hindu temples, and Chinese temples. Mosques are an exception, as they use the Hindi-derived word Bali. Kayong has also been borrowed into Thai languages, including into Shan as Kyong spelt, er, and into Thai Nua as Zong Tu, rendered in Chinese as Chinese Zhang Topic: Types In modern-day Myanmar, Kayongs may be divided into a number of categories, including monastic colleges called Sithantake, and remote forest monasteries called Taya Kayong. Myanmar's primary monastic university towns are Bago, Pakaku, and Zagoing. History In pre-colonial times, the Kayong served as the primary source of education, providing nearly universal education for boys, representing the bastion of civilization and knowledge, and integral to the social fabric of pre-colonial Burma. The connections between Kayongs and education were reinforced by monastic examinations, which were first instituted in 1648 by King Thalan during the Tongu dynasty. Classical learning was transmitted through monasteries, which served as venues for Burmese students to pursue higher education and further social advancement in the royal administration after disrobing. Indeed, nearly all prominent historical figures such as Kinwon Mingyi Yu Kong spent their formative years studying at monasteries. Traditional monastic education first developed in the pagan kingdom, in tandem with the proliferation of Theravada Buddhism learning in the 1100s. The syllabus at Kayongs included the Burmese language, Pali grammar and Buddhist texts with a focus on discipline, morality and code of conduct such as Mangala Sutta, Sigalovada Sutta, Dhammapada, and Jataka tales, prayers and elementary arithmetic. Influential monasteries held vast libraries of manuscripts and texts. The ubiquity of monastic education was attributed with the high literacy rate for Burmese Buddhist men. 
The 1901 census of India found that 60.3% of Burmese Buddhist men over 20 were literate, as compared to 10% for British India as a whole. Kyongs called PWE Kyongs, also taught secular subjects, such as astronomy, astrology, medicine, massage, divination, horsemanship, swordsmanship, archery, arts and crafts, boxing, wrestling, music and dancing. During the Kanbang dynasty, various kings, including Bodapaya, suppressed the proliferation of Pwe Kyong, which were seen as potential venues for rebellions. Sumptuary law dictated the construction and ornamentation of Burmese Kyongs, which were among the few building structures in pre colonial Burma to possess elaborate multi tiered roofs called payat that. Mason balustrades characterized royal monasteries. Following the abolishment of the Burmese monarchy at the end of the Third Anglo-Burmese War, monastic schools were largely superseded by secular, government-run schools. Topic: <laughs> Common Kyong features. The typical Kyong consists of a number of buildings called Kyong Zong. Thane, from Pali Sima ordination hall as prescribed by the Vinaya. Damayan, assembly hall used for sermons and communal purposes. Zedai, from Pali Sidia stupa, often covered with gold leaf and containing a reliquary. Living quarters for the monks and the Sayadaw. Zayad, open air pavilions used as rest houses. Tagundang, ornamented flagstaff celebrating the submission of local Nats animistic spirits to the Dhamma. Shrines to the Arhats Savali and Shin Upagutta. Kayataye Khan, storage room. Cooking quarters traditional monasteries of the Kanbang era consisted of the following halls. Payat that Hasong, main chapel hall that houses images of the Buddha. Hasongmagi, or Hasongma, main assembly hall for lectures, ceremonies, and housing junior monks. Sanu Hasong, residential hall of the monastery abbot. Baga Hasong. Storage room for monks' provisions in pre colonial times. Royal monasteries were organized as complexes known as Kyong Take, composed of several residential buildings, including the main building, the Kyongji, or Kyongma, which was occupied by the residing Sayadaw, and smaller structures called Kyongyan, which housed the Sayadaw's disciples. The complexes were walled compounds, and also housed a library, ordination halls, meeting halls, water reservoirs and wells, and utility buildings. Examples <laughs> 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 Hedilin Monastery, Mahagandayan Monastery, Mayadong Monastery, Salin Monastery, Schweinbein Monastery, Schwinanda Monastery, Shwezedi Monastery, Taikta Monastery, Ya Mingyi Monastery Topic. See also Vihara Wat Burmese Pagoda Burmese culture